I know some of my posts may be a random post, but I just feel like posting the real life things and uh, some things that I never posted before. But during my seven day water fast, I just thought about different things and um, some videos I waited to post until I finished the water fast and I then made one into one video, but all of those are the, over my seven day period, even though, even though I didn't start recording uh, on day one, I just went daily uh, with the water fast. And then I recorded a little bit on my sixth day when I prepped uh, some rice and peppers and I went to buy, buy some tortillas. Cause I, tortillas, tortillas. Cause I don't, uh, I haven't eaten meat since the end of May. I thought about getting back to eating chicken, but um, I mean, I tried tofu in Nashville at the uh, at the market there that they have the fresh fresh market there that they have there in Nashville. They have like the different uh, vegan options, and at restaurants they have uh, different restaurants have the pages that have a uh, straight uh, nothing but pages with the straight uh, vegan options on it. So those have been some of my uh, go-to things uh, if I'm out and uh, going out to eat. But uh, I try not to go out to eat as much. As I've tried, tried to make that like a once a month thing, but uh, I thought about eating meat, uh, like chicken and Probably beef, but uh, I just haven't since the end of May. So even though I've been around it, like uh, last Saturday for lunch for the residents, it was chicken and waffles, and I got right there and was cooking chickens, and that was on the second day of my water fast, and the chicken was good too, but I, was, I just didn't have the appetite to eat that day or to eat the chicken. It smelled good too. I had some seasonings and flour and all that. But I didn't have the appetite to eat that day. Or the past seven days, I haven't had the appetite to eat or to snack, even though I had got some food for later on after my seven day water fast. I just didn't have it at the time to snack. And uh, every night I say my, my daily, my nightly prayer, even though I know I need to get into my prayer more in the daytime or just speak more uh, during the day instead of uh, saying my, the Lord's Prayer at night time because I had this conversation with a guy yesterday about um <clears throat> I had this conversation with a guy yesterday about um like uh, getting more into prayer and being able to um like uh, speak more because I know during high school or if you've been a part of sports in your life and you know, you have those times where y'all get on the knee and you say the Lord's Prayer. So the Lord's Prayer has been my, uh, that's been my prayer every night uh, before I go to sleep or if I get off work from working a 12 hour shift. When I was working in 12 hour shifts, the Lord's Prayer was my prayer. So uh, uh, he said, Father God, forgive us. Father God, forgive me. And I'm like, dear Heavenly Father, forgive me uh, for all of my sins that I've done. I ask for strength for today. I want to thank you for being able to wake up for another day and make it past my seven day water fast again. And just for encouragement to take it day, day by day and um, have strength in you and um, never give up on this um, daily uh, journey that I'm on and uh, never lose faith in you and the strength that you give me to make it each day throughout these uh, different obstacles and the negative things going on, negative energy that comes around at random times. And I just want to thank you for strength to be able to make it through the different pains and uh, aches that I feel. And uh, I know that uh, you had a uh, you already know what's going to be ahead. You already know the decisions that's made because everything was basically, uh, I mean, that's, everything was already written and like you know the decisions, decisions I was gonna make before because uh, you showed me the signs of that. 
but I just gotta have uh, faith in you more and uh, not give up and uh, find that peace within me again like I felt before and uh, I just want to ask for your protection and guidance to be able to be a leader and uh, keep uh, being myself and not uh, not be someone that I'm not who I, who I am not and not try to pretend to be someone who I'm not but I want to thank you for letting me see all these things that I'm able to see so that way I can be able to tell the difference of uh, like uh, what's good and, not, and what's not good. But I just want to uh, just give appreciation for uh, some people who I've met in my life that um, I feel like I made a connection with because I know it's part of your plan for me to go to these different places and directions to meet certain people and uh, that everything will work out as long as uh, I have faith and I don't give in. And you're having me up for amen. And I was given this um a Bible yesterday. And uh I just opened this up to Psalm sixty two. It says uh, For God alone my soul waits in silence. From him comes my salvation. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress. I shall not be greatly shaken. How long will all of you attack a man to batter him like a leaning wall, a torch on the fence? They only plan to thrust him down from his high position. They take pleasure in falsehood. They bless with their mouths, but inwardly they curse. For God alone, O oh my soul, wait in silence, for my hope is from him. He is only in my rock and my salvation, my fortress. I shall not be shaken on God. Rest my salvation and my glory, my mighty rock, my refuge is God. Trust in him at all times, O oh people. Pour out your heart before him. God is refuge for us. And that's what I opened up this Bible to uh, before I started recording that uh, verse. Oh, Jeremiah 33, 12. Give thanks to the Lord of hosts. For the Lord is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. For I will restore the fortunes of the land as at first, says the Lord. Uh, there was a verse I had went to yesterday. I know uh, back in 2021, I was reading the different books of the Bible. I made it through a couple of uh, different books. I started at Genesis and uh, I jumped around through the Bible and went to towards the end of it and I read the whole book of, uh, and I read a couple other books in here, but I would like to uh, get back into reading more and get back to into writing more. And I know the book of Job is uh, something I heard about. And I have read a couple of chapters in the book of Job. A couple, yeah, a couple of chapters in the book of Job. Okay, let me go to... I'm just sharing a couple posts today, and uh, you can uh, go check out my story and go give it a follow. Cause I wrote something down with Job, uh, or my even sound it was 151. What is it sound 151? What is it sound 151?
I heard a verse a couple of days ago. Psalms uh, is uh, something that I heard a couple days ago and I had wrote down the verse, but um, I can't think of what it is right now. I had to go get that. Uh, I had to go grab that. But, uh, yeah, my video is kind of long, so I have to stop this video here. And, uh, maybe later on I'll do some reading on here, but I'm going to get back into more reading.